morning and welcome to the IT Computing Department presented to you today by myself, Mrs. Jolly. Right, so at St. Gregory the Great Catholic School, at Key Stage 4, we offer OCR Level 1 and 2 Cambridge National Certificate in Information Technologies. So the assessment. This qualification is assessed through 50% controlled assessment and 50% of it is examination. You will have full access to computer equipment, a variety of software applications and resources to help you along the way. The course description is as follows. It consists of two units of study, RO12, understanding tools, techniques, processes, and RO13, developing solutions. So in RO12, you will develop knowledge and understanding of different hardware and software applications and tools and techniques used to select, store, manipulate, and present data. And for those of you who have already had computing in year nine, you have already started to do this at an intermediate level using databases and spreadsheets. So for R13, you will create digital solutions for organizations and learn about data management issues to develop practical skills by planning and creating an integrated technological solution to communicate information. So let's look further into these. So RO12, which is an exam, lasts one hour, 45 minutes. The learning outcomes are as follows. One, understand the tools and techniques that can be used to initiate and plan solutions. Number three, we have already started to do, understand how data and information can be collected, stored and used. Four, understand the factors to be considered when collecting and processing data and storing information. And that outcome we've already done as well, but at, a, at an intermediate level. Learning outcome six, understand the different methods of processing data and presenting information. And you've done that as well, whilst you were creating your spreadsheets in order to present data, you created graphs. So that's an example of what you have already, what you are already doing. RO13 then is an internally marked and moderated assessment by OCR, which lasts approximately 20 hours. The learning outcomes here, you'll be expected to initiate and plan a solution to meet an identified need, and that will be a scenario given from the examining board. Outcome five, to be able to import and manipulate data to develop a solution to meet an identified need. And that links again to L outcome three, which you have already started to do. Seven, to be able to select and present information and development of solutions to meet an identified need. And here again, you will choose applications which you feel as an IT consultant. This is the role which you will undertake whilst on the course you feel is suitable for a business solution for the given scenario and outcome eight to be able to review and evaluate the development of a solution so how well has your solution worked and what can be improved so why pursue IT in Key Stage 4? Well, IT exists all around us in all corners of industry. This course, I do truly feel, will deepen your understanding about tools and techniques for use in different digital hardware and so software technologies and how these can be integrated to create digital solutions to manage and communicate data and information effectively. Further to this, through this qualification, you will be you will 
be able to select and use the most appropriate technology safely and effectively. And I've chosen the things that you are able to do at the moment. So navigating database software, you've used access, data integrity, managing accounts and files, database design and planning. And I know we did this at a basic level, but like I said, these will then advance in key stage four, the skills, techniques and functions of applications like SQL, you will be expected to program in a database using SQL. And information technology will give you the tools which can be used. And this is really important universally in a range of subject areas and industries. It will develop your ability to communicate digitally and safely. Let's have a look at the career opportunities then and jobs in IT. So there's a wide range there. I mean, you can take your time and have a look through this again. Communication, consultancy, programming, IT business roles, teaching, digital marketing, and IT research. But elaborating to this, which some of you have been inquiring about already, software engineer, engineer software developer, an app game or developer, it all starts with IT in order to pursue a career. So the starting point will be in year 10 and you have already begun your journey. And I'm looking forward to seeing many of you on board. And I want to leave you with the top greatest IT people of all time ranked from one to 10, one of whom you might recognize there, number three, Bill Gates. Do a little bit of investigation today. How did they become so successful? What were the skills which were required? Is there specific leadership qualities, planning skills? knowledge of applications, what sparked their careers off. So I've come towards the end of my presentation. You are more than welcome to ask me as many as questions as you like. And whatever you choose to pursue, my advice would be choose which you feel very comfortable with. And that, folks, is it for today. Thank you for watching the presentation.